A couple of months ago, my husband and I, we were talking. My husband is a pastor and he was telling me how that as a pastor, the majority of his job have to do with listening to his members and also other people's problems and trying to help them in the areas in their life that they need help in. He's so glad that he's able to come home to a calm, peaceful environment. That's one thing that he liked about me. And when he shared that with me, I just smiled to myself because I I knew that that was something that God put inside of me, but I didn't know that he even recognized it. So once he shared that with me, I decided to create a couple videos about this topic because it's so important in the relationships that you have and it's also important as an individual. I'm a wife. I've been married for 30 and a half years. I'm a mom. I teach Christian wives and moms how to develop good relationships with their husbands and also children. If you are interested in learning how to be a better wife or mom, join my community by subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the notification bell. Tip number one, keep a journal by just journaling. It helps you process your thoughts. You're able to write down how you feel or even just write down personal things that's inside of your heart and that you're not able to talk about to anyone else. I'm an introvert. I started journaling maybe almost two years ago. And what has helped me with journaling is that by me being an introvert, I'm very, very cautious about what I talk about to other people and I'm not comfortable with just sharing my feelings about everything. So when I started writing down some of my thoughts, it was like therapy for me. And every time I would take out time and just write down personal things, I felt relieved after I got done. And I would say another benefit for journaling, if you desire to accomplish a particular thing, and so you write it down, the different things that you desire, it makes you feel good when you go back to what you have written a long time ago and you have accomplished that particular thing. It actually increases your faith and also your self-esteem. Spend time outside in nature. I've never been a person that liked to do things outside. A year and a half ago, my husband and I re relocated from the city to the country because that is where our church is located. And so before we had like 45 miles to drive. So the purpose of us moving out in the country is to be closer to the church. So now that we live out in the country, we have a huge yard. So my husband planted a lot of flowers and he also started a small garden. So being that I didn't have them plant the flowers or start the garden, my responsibility is to keep it watered. And I can say that every time I go outside and, I, and I'm just doing something simple as just watering the flowers, it relaxes me and it and helps me to feel calm. And it's just something about when you're outside and in nature and you pay attention to just the small things in life. If you don't have any plants inside of your house, that's one thing that I suggest that you should do, buy you a plant or two now. I don't know anything about growing a plant, so I've had a couple of them to die on me, but I'm still trying. The reason why it's good to have two or three plants in your home is because just by looking at them or being around them, it just does something inside. I can't explain it, but I do know how the way that I feel with a real plant versus a fake one. And I even found out too that there are certain kind of plants that were created just for relaxation or to make you calm. If you want to experience peace and calmness within, you're going to have to learn how to love unconditionally. And that's one of the hardest things about being a wife is learning how to love unconditionally. When you love someone unconditionally, you're not going to be afraid to love them and you're not going to keep up with all that you are doing or making sure that he is giving to you the same way that you are giving to him. When you learn to truly love someone, it blocks out fear. In the Bible, it even talks about how that perfect love has no fear. Be kind. When you have peace within, it's going to help you to be kind to your husband, your children, and also to yourself. And when you are kind to others and also to yourself, it helps build peace within. 
don't take things personally. When you take things personally, if you stay offended or even upset about something that someone has done. And I would say one of the main disadvantages of when you take things personally, sometimes you're going to assume that someone meant something negatively and it really wasn't even like that. But you believe it because you just naturally take things personally and Sometimes things are just in your mind. Another huge disadvantage of when you take things personally is that you have a tendency of naturally always explaining yourself to someone because you feel that they got the wrong intentions, which is exhausting by itself by having to always to explain yourself. Now, that is something that I am working on personally right now is not to assume or always trying to explain myself. One of the main reasons why you want to learn not to take things personally because you will be able to have the ability to not to overreact. It actually help keep your mind clear and your heart at peace. Don't compare yourself to others. Focus on your own journey. The main disadvantage of we always compare yourself to others, you're going to always feel like that you're not good at something that that other person is good at. Instead of looking within yourself and seeing the gifts or the talents that you have, you won't be able to see them because you're going to be blinded by focusing on what you're not good at. And when you focus on what you're not good at, it's a way of keeping you from experiencing having a peace of mind. I recently read a book and it's called The Four Agreements. It's a very short book. I know that I'm going to read it again because it shared some great information and some of the things that was in the book. It's things that I am applying to my life right now. One of the tips that was shared in the book was always do your best. So that's the best way to tell God that I love you. So once I read that, I thought about that. That's one thing that I want to work on with every area of my life, no matter what I'm doing, to always do my best. And even in the Bible, it talks about how that whatever you find your hands to do, to do it with all your might. So God wants our best. And it also said that too, the best way to say thank you God is to let go of your past and to live in the moment. So we learn to always do your best and to be appreciative for every moment in your life. It helps you to stay positive because it helps you to think positively and, and also not just think positively but when you do your best you're doing something positive and it's going to make you feel positive in the book it also talked about learning to say no and not feeling bad about it and that's something that i am working on i'm getting better at it so i'm thankful for that but before in my past i would always commit to something because I wanted to help someone else, but then in the long run, once I committed to that right after then, I regretted and hated that. I said yes to something that I knew I really just didn't want to do, but I didn't want to hurt that person's feelings. So I'm learning how just to say no, I can't do it, and not feel bad about it. And by me just learning how to say no to things that I really don't want to do, I am happier because I'm not committing to things that I really just don't want to do or things that I even just regret when I even think about it. Don't worry. One of the best things that you can do is just to learn how to allow God to handle things in your life that you just can't control. And the only thing that you are responsible for is things that you can control, which is your behavior. With me, one of the best things that I have learned is things that's out of my control. I have learned to give it to God and just rest in the Lord. It took me a long time to learn how to do it, but once I did, that is when I was actually really able to experience God's peace. If this video helped you and you want to grow as a Christian, become a better wife or mom, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. Thank you for tuning in and most importantly, I hope you accept God's peace. Bye.